Mario. What's up, everyone? This is Rabbit Guinea Pig here, and before I start, I want to address a few things in my last video, which, weirdly enough, got over a thousand views by now. Even though it got, like, probably the most criticism I've ever gotten in any video ever, but... I ain't mad about that, honestly. Um, yeah, I was meandering, and you know what? As long as I don't end up writing scripts or anything, I'm probably gonna meander anyway. And that's not really conducive for, like, a video about... You know... Trying to make a point, or trying to make an illustrative... Uh, point of some sort, but for a Let's Play, it's fine, I guess. Anyway, I've been in a Mario 64 mood lately. I finally got a parallel, parallel launcher working the way that I should because I was just, uh, you know, adding patches manually. to the main ROM, the Mario 64 1.0 ROM that you need to do these patches, but the Parallel Launcher makes it so much easier. So much easier to do all this, which is why I restarted my save data yet again to uh, B3313, and I will be doing more of that, because I am determined to beat that game, honestly. I don't mind looking stuff up, but I am determined. Anyway, this is decades later. This is Mario 64 decades later. And essentially, I'm just kind of blasting through it and talking about it at the same time. But essentially, what this is, is um, an, um, a bit of a imagining, reimagining of like... What happened decades after the events of Mario 64? So, this is the same castle, but as you can see, they've done a little renovate. And it looks amazing. Like, the, the people who worked on this, incredible. Put, put, put up the pacha meat. It's just right. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we got a lot more stuff going on outside, but we want to go inside. Man, Mario 64 modding community is amazing. I would love to be able to make my own mod one day. I was playing this a little bit, but I decided to uh, make a new game just so I can do this video. Welcome to the new castle, Mario. You've been contracted to check if everything is okay and... Something fishy seems to be going on. The paintings are leaking into the castle walls. Find the first one on the life on the life on the left, like in the good old days. Okay. We gotta we gotta we just gotta admire. We just gotta admire the amount of work that was put into this, because it's amazing. And Princess Princess Peach is a freaking narcissist putting pictures of herself all over the place. He's a princess, what do you expect? Anyway, here's where Bomb on Battlefield is. This uh, new... You step on there to warp in it, but also... This is like a bedroom. This is just straight up a room now, with like, utility. So that's pretty cool, and again... Narcissist Peach putting her picture everywhere. You'll see that a lot more, probably. Well, let's just jump into it. All right. Sonic Robo Blast 2 music. That's one of my favorite things about like going through these ROM hacks is seeing how much of the music I can recognize. And this is uh, Stage 1 Act 2 of Sonic Robo Blast 2, which if you don't know, I will probably do a video because I love Sonic. And it's like the best Sonic fan game ever, like hands down. And the soundtrack is incredible. What was it? Chomp Protected Town. Alright. 
Ow. You know that feeling whenever, like, you're playing a game and you're, like, doing really, really good, but then you decide to, like, show off, like, in front of a camera in front or in front of friends or whatever, and suddenly you start sucking? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that. Or maybe not. Who knows? This ROM hack is incredible. I will be posting a link in the description. You'll have to figure out how to actually get Parallel Launcher working, you know, patch the ROM, or whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do to get it working, but it's worth it. I may end up doing like a tutorial eventually. Okay, got the chomp to open this thing up. Yeah, uh, camera, excuse me. Okay, there we go. Some of these ROM hacks have a much better camera system. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I like... I think they call it the parallel camera. Because it doesn't get stuck in walls. In fact, it goes right through them. Which is a little clunky, but I prefer it anyway better to, like, the original anyway. I love Mario 64. It's, like, my favorite game ever. And, like... That's a realization I have come to relatively recently just i love mario 64 i love the rom hacks you hit these hit these buttons that ball mom down there tells you this is what happens this is what happens when i try to talk over a video and also it's deep okay Yeah, 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 yeah. We even built this small town here. Try to get on the roof and step on the four panels for a star. Alright, can do. Man, I am not an internet personality. I am not Markiplier. I am sorry. I'm just a guy who likes playing games. I mean, I can work on it. In fact, that's sort of what I'm doing. I want to find... I want to find a balance between, like, you know, being an over-exaggerated internet personality and also just being myself. But there we go. Star number two. Don't protect the town. Alright, I'm going to stop rambling so much and play the dang game. This one's actually tough, if I remember. Anyway, boop, there he goes. Popped right in. Draw distance central. That's where he lives. I had a little bit of trouble with this one the last time. Hey Mario, long time no see. I'm still in the running business, but I also learned some cool swimming skills. Wanna have a little race back to the top of the mountain? I got a star. Alright, let's do it. You go that way. Oh, 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 we're doing... We're doing the Sonic R soundtrack. Don't make me sing. I don't want to subject YouTube to that. You, Koopa. But I think he makes it in like 55 seconds, so I I have no chance. Uh, yeah. No, wait. What's like? Let's, like, actually explore the level and figure out, like, 
any good ways to get up here. He goes into the water. He goes into the water, and he comes up this way, and it's probably too slippery for Mario without, like, speedrunning strats that I'm nowhere near good enough to do. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a cool new technique in this particular ROM hack. After you get enough speed when you're swimming, then you just hold the A button and you keep the momentum. That's nice. That way you don't have to put too much brain power into just, like, the swim timing, whatever you call it in this game. <sighs> I wanted to talk about my microphone situation for a little bit also. I'm using the uh, Beats by Dre headphones again because they're less likely to knock around and stuff and the other microphone that I have is technically better, but it's just, it's, you know, I don't, I don't have the proper setup to get it to work the way I want it to. If I had like a simple microphone stand I could put in front of my face, that'd be one thing, but Essentially, I have my TV, my computer, my gaming PC hooked up to my TV in my bedroom. And, uh... Got, like, a little TV dinner table in front of it where I have my mouse and keyboard. And, you know, the idea behind it is... You know, just my whole all-in-one system here. I figure, what's the point in having, like, a computer desk in a TV if my computer can do all the things anyway? I hardly ever have to turn it off, so I might as well just put it on the big TV. And that way I can play, like, Mario Rom hacks and stuff like that on the big TV. Got myself a nice Xbox uh, Series S controller. Series X, Series X, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know, Microsoft just sucks at naming things. Here's the flag. Oh, that's Koopa the Quick's mansion. That's cute. I like that. Uh, uh, uh. But any, anyway, all that is to say, um, I just spent like the last hour like looking up tutorials and stuff for like plugins for OBS to try and get my voice sounding as good as possible with a crappy microphone and this is about as good as it's gonna get. It's still a little bit, like, grainy, a little bit, uh, staticky, I guess. But I think, I think I got it good. Good enough, anyway. Like, you can hear what I'm trying to say. You can understand what I'm saying, and it's not, like, entirely, completely unlistenable. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. No, see, what's... I, I, I'm trying to do that thing. I can't, I can't do it. I don't have... I don't have the skills. If you don't know what the thing is, I don't know what you call it. It's just like, you know, kicking you to climb up a steep hill. Here we go. You know what? Let's try it again. Let's fall into the water. Yeah, that's good. Let's just try not to fuck it up.
not trying anything out of my league. Oh, let's see, here he comes. I saw him over there, but he's gonna climb up the side of the mountain anyway. Son of a bitch, I got you now. I got you now. Ha! Ah. <sighs> that was fun. And you put it right in front of your mansion just to rub it in, you rich bastard. Not everyone can afford mansions, you know. Try a different one. Man, this is pretty. I mean, it still looks like Mario 64, obviously. Got that low poly aesthetic that Mario 64 is known for. Speaking of, I have a couple of ROM hacks I want to show off in a different video that sort of do something a little bit different. And I forget the name of the person who made these ROM hacks, or people, I don't know, I'm still, I'm still getting used to the ROM hacking community when it comes to Mario 64, but there's plenty of, like, amazing names in there. Caves, or Kaze, whatever he prefers to be, I don't even think he knows. But, uh, I'm still waiting on you know, return to Yoshi's Island full version. I'm gonna put it on my EverDrive. Look at this. It's the designated TV room. And it's got Womp's Fortress. Man, I didn't, I didn't know they had flat screens in the Mario universe. Good lord, it's almost unrecognizable. Mary Moore for Mario RPG, obviously, especially because, like, the remake came out. Holy crap, it, I think it was over a year ago. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Someone hand me a walking cane already. I grew up with the original, though, when it was new. And it was, it was weird. Mario RPG was like, it was our first RPG, me and my brothers. It was our first real RPG, even before Pokemon. But like, it was so different. But I would say, as far as a kid growing up in the mid-90s is concerned, Mario RPG, like, an excellent introduction to that kind of gameplay. Because already, like, you know Mario. Everyone knows Mario. You change up the gameplay a little bit, it's still Mario. I don't know what I'm supposed to actually be doing. Okay, top of the fort, just like before. No, no, ah, well, okay. We'll just go this way. So yeah, let me let me know what you think about my uh, microphone situation. If you have any tips and tricks, because like I really do not have much to go on. I'd love to get a better microphone at one point. I feel like if I had anything better than this thing, even with the settings in my OBS in my. Uh, plugins and all that, with all the settings as they are, it would sound like fantastic with literally any other monitor, uh, microphone, sorry. But as it stands, I'm okay with how it sounds, I think. But if you got any, like, tips and tricks, for if there's any, like, audio files in the comments section who know how to make it sound even better, 
then please be my guest. Let me know. I want to make these videos better. I want to make these videos better for you guys. Not some, not the algorithm, but for you. Anyone who pops in and is watching my videos and is like, oh, well, that, that was actually kind of interesting. Fun. That was a fun video that guy just made. I am glad I spent time watching it. That's what I want. That's all I want. And then maybe, you know, tell your friend, like, this dude, this dude's playing Mario 64 Romax. It's pretty cool. We are not making that jump. Nope. So. I'm just kind of dicking around right now, but I'm guessing the game wants me to go up up the mountain pretty much the same way as you did before in the original game. And the wind bridge is out, but I think... Yeah! yeah. Two points. No! Mike. I already got 73. I might as well go for the 100 coin. I have downloaded so many more Max. Like, this this is going to be my channel for the next several months, I swear. This is just going to be Mario 64 ROM hacks. And I consider myself pretty decent at Mario 64 for the most part, especially when I'm playing the game and focusing on the game and not trying to entertain people in the microphone for YouTube. I'm kidding, but like, seriously, I consider myself alright. Well, that bullet bill certainly had something to say about that. I'm screwed on. Oh, no, 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 we're good. Ow. <sighs> you know, I don't want to be one of those rambly YouTubers anyway. The ones who feel like they have to fill it. Fill the dead air with their voice. Whatever. Let's play. There, oh, it's an 80. It's one of these. Alright. Badge? Like Paper Mario badge? Hmm. This game does have sort of a Paper Mario is ish aesthetic to it. I sort of feel like Mario games are the best when they go for that kind of feel. Hey, what's up? Oh, thank you. I don't need it at this moment, though. I'm still relatively new to this hack, also. So, like... <laughs> this is far from... So oh! Crap! Come on! With these dang bullet bills! i to find some help. Bombs! That's a safe place for health. Ooh. Mm. Explode! They don't give you coins when they explode on their own. Okay.
I think that mushroom was like a full health thing. Come on. Yeah. Alright, come on. I'm better at Mario than this. There! That easy. That easy. Sorry, but I'm currently on vacation. Don't bother my minions. Protecting the Star King. Oh, Okay, yeah, that blue mushroom definitely did, like, refill my health. But now, I am bothering your minions now. But you. No, no, I can just get the star, but no, I'm going to be petty and kill all these, all these guys. There we go. Where's your minions now, huh? Nice. I'm gonna go back to Bomb Bomb Battlefield. Ah, okay. That's one flaw with this camera in particular. Sort of gets in the way. There's not much you can do with the Mario 64 camera, you know? Excuse me. To the lookout. Getting coins while I'm at it. I like to be as thorough as possible in these kinds of games. These collect-a-thon kind of games, I love. I can't always guarantee I can 100% them without looking stuff up, but I sure as hell try. Like, that's the fun of them to me. Running around, exploring, finding, you know, optimal paths that I'm not really good at. If I was, I'd be a speedrunner. But, I digress. You know what? I didn't even know I could do that till now. Lookout tower, it said. I'm gonna free you just because I can't. Who keeps chaining up this chomp? Chomps deserve to be free. Free the chomps! Ow. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Yeah, you're free. <laughs> Excuse me again, I really need that mute. I really need to set up a mute button. Oh well. You know what my favorite thing about Mario is? One of my favorite things. Fuck you! Mario can punch. I think this is the only Mario game that isn't Smash where Mario can just straight up punch something in the face. And I find that amusing. I could have just done. 
simple triple jump to get up here. Oh well. Back up. Can I climb this? No. Fuck! It's so aggressive, I love it. Fuck you! And there's the 80 star. 80 coin star. I should say. You know, I'm gonna set up a Patreon. If, if someone wants to buy me a new microphone, be my guest. But I think I have it acceptable for now. As someone who has less than 200 subscribers right now, I think it's fine. Mm, fuck you. Fuck you. Hey, can you set up the cannon? No. No, you say the same thing you did before. Where was the cannon one again? Are these the lookouts? Is that what we're looking for? That reminds me so much of Mario Sunshine also. <laughs> Never gets old. Nothing down there? I should be using my N64 controller. I'm using my Xbox controller, like I said, but... I have a uh, off-brand USB N64 controller that I slightly modded. What? Where's that? Called Retrobit. It's a Retrobit one. I've had it for years and years, and years and years and years. And what I did was, um, I replaced like the buttons and the button membranes with like ones from like an actual N64 controller, like a very crappy old one with like a super loose joystick. One that, you know, no one would miss. So the buttons feel way better. The joystick is alright. It's not one-to-one -one perfect, but it more than gets the job done. Like, for some reason, like, the lower right of the joystick is less sensitive than the rest of it. So I had to mess around with some sensitivity settings to get it to feel correct. Alright. To the lookout. Well, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Fuck you! Keep placing random Goombas everywhere, I'm gonna keep punching them! I don't need any more coins. Don't need more coins. But I keep collecting many. I wonder if I need like a wing cap or something. Well, that went well. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the same thing. This is actually still pretty nice. I don't even care to get lost in it. I see a star over there. Is that a lookout? Is that what we're what we're looking for? What we're looking out for? Hold on. Shoo! Sorry. Excuse me. I don't, I don't do little bitty sneezes either. I go all in. I, I give it the dad sneeze. Alright, what's happening here? I'm running into the sign, first of all. This switch here! Well, see the green switch board to the left of the fence? If you want all of them to return where they started at, then press this handy button. Ooh. Alright then. Thought you had me there, didn't you, Bubble? Yeah, Mario 3D Land. This is just some simple platforming. I'm good at this. I, I, I think I have an idea of what we're doing now. But it's also got the Mario 64 physics in it too, so... I didn't punch those Goombas. They get to live. Okay, I was right. That was the lookout. Alright. Seven stars. And we're just like... Hmm. Todd! How you doing, Todd? Well then... <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so nice. All this extra effort they put into this... Oh, this music. Mario Cam is quite the useful camera when you slide the ass slide. This music sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Mm. Yeah, Mario can. Oh, hey! self-insert creator. Oh! Hmm. I wonder if I was supposed to jump there if it was going to fling me automatically. Well, that answers that question. Now that was just me sucking. I have no one to blame for that that but myself. That building looks like it's an elevator. It goes down somewhere. Oh, it's so pretty. This is gonna be a long video because I'm gonna play the crap out of this. 
And because I haven't really played much of it until now, like, this is all new to me. And just like, just like Doom, I love Doom, and I love Doom mods, I love Doom mods, they keep the game alive, Mario 64 is similar. Uh, Vinny Vinesaw said it best when he said, uh, you know, there's enough, there's enough mods here. Doom, Mario 64, any game like this, there's enough that you don't need any other game in the rest of your life. Oh, I did not know that was going to happen. Nice beginner trap game. Oh, there we go. Wait. There we go. Top of the mountain, you say. Sorry. Very sorry. Why would you so sorry? Why'd you do it? Because I thought I'm funny. Ooh, these. It's interesting to see, like, newer Mario stuff ported in to Mario 64. And pretty well, too. Okay. This is the opposite of the top of the mountain! This is the opposite of what I wanted to do, penguin. There's a penguin up there. Jump out, Mario. Let's just find a star. We don't have to do them in order. Let's just find one and do it. There's the snowman. There's the snowman's body. And all these dickhead snowmen... ...whose only goal in life is to throw snowballs at you for... The fun of it. Eh. At least they have a clear vision of what they want to do with their lives. I thank you. You know, I have a feeling that building with the arrow on it, the elevator arrow, there's another one down here somewhere, and it's going to bring me back up. Lost your kid again, didn't you? No, you are the kid. You gotta help me remember how I was missing in my childhood. It happened with my own child. She hasn't come back from the lookout post at the end of the slide. Could you check up on her and get her back? I will reward you with a star. That's cute. That, I like that. Can't go in there. Ah, uh, you know... I know it's old news by now. You know, Charles Martinet retiring from playing as Mario. But is not retired entirely. And I've played Mario Wonder. Ugh, voice crack. That was bad. <laughs> I've played Mario Wonder. And the new voice actor does fine. Sounds to me like anyone else's Mario impression. You know what I mean? That's what I thought, elevator. Back up here. That's nice. That is good. That's an easy, good way to get back up here. Fuck you, snowman. 
get rid of you before you cause problems. And there's the penguin. And there's the baby penguin. This may take a while. I, I do like the usage of color here, the blues and the pinks. Careful now. Yes! Then. Mm -hmm. Wall jumping. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah, here we go. There we go. Penguins lost. So it seems like the penguin's not in the same place as before, obviously, but. Mm, I wanna go. I wanna go. Now! Okay, alright. This is gonna take a little thinking. How do I approach this? Because I don't very well think I can just like wall jump my way up there. Screw you, snowman. I'm thinking here. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Guess we're just gonna have to try it again. Or. Or... Oh. Now, wait, what? Where? Finally managed to put a hat on that big snowman. We had, had another one, but it blew away. I feel like they're connected somehow. If I was a great jumper, I would check the hat out myself, but I'm not. Oh, okay. Hold on, anything down there? I think that's where wall kicks will work. And I don't know where this music is from, but I'm liking it. This environmental detail though, it's so pretty. It's almost too much. Okay, you prepare the can, don't you? Yes. I thought the one down there did, but I already, I already got the can. I got the can, and so it's a moot point. Oh well. I figure out how to get the little thing one. Jump on these leaves, can I? 
they are non solid. Just to be sure. Yeah, they're non solid. You know what? Rather than run around with a chick like a chicken with a head cut off, we're just gonna do a different level. Hmm. What's that, the water level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty. I see they patched up the holes. So no weird aquarium in the sky for me. On board the dormant ship. This is one level where I wish they would have kept the music as it is. Or like made a cool uh, remix of it. It's like Jolly Roger Bay is like one of the best songs in Mario 64. Oh, okay. Coins. Blue coin. Blue coin. Blue coin. Blue coin. Blue coin. Blue coin. There we go. See, some things just do not change. Speaking of, that's probably one thing. One reason why I like Mario 64 so much. And I saw a video not too long ago talking about like how younger people, how like Zoomers are like just sort of choosing retro games over modern games. And to me, it's sort of like a... I mean, well, duh. At this point. Like, freaking... The AAA industry is, like, so full of crap these days. Like, who's still cool? Who's still cool in this day and age, as far as, like, the big AAA companies? You got Capcom... Cranking out all, all the great Resident Evil remakes. Uh, Nintendo, but with a big fat asterisk, because they make great games, but their business policies leave a lot to be desired, and fuck, I think that's it. All the other big AAA companies are like freaking scum of the earth evil. EA, Blizzard, Epic. And yet I do use the Epic Game Store for free games because why the hell not? If they want me to buy games on there, nah, fuck that, I don't have any money. Something, something to dormant ship. I should be on there. Oh, well, we got Rockstar making the most disappointing. I'm starting to think. What I was saying was, uh, yeah. You remember the, uh, Grand Theft Auto trilogy that came out not too long ago and was like, what, what the fuck is this? What, what even the fuck is this? How can you even think about getting away with this and calling it a definitive edition? And I'm starting to think what it is, is a lot of these companies are trying to figure out what all they can get away with 
while still making people think that they're putting effort into things. Disney, with that movie Wish, that people are so adamant that it was like just written by an AI, because it probably was. Because they're experimenting. They're trying to figure out how far they can go with AI while still making it seem like they actually put effort into it. And I don't, I'm not saying no effort was put into that movie whatsoever. There's, you know, animation work, the uh, voice actors and actresses all did all right. I didn't watch the movie. I've only seen, like, reviews of it. So I cannot give you, like, a full opinion about it. But I can just tell you what I think about it from my own perspective. Oh, cool. And it just seems like... This isn't an isolated event, like I was talking about with the Grand Theft Auto trilogy that came out a few years ago, I think. I don't know, time just kind of happens these days. I, I don't count in years anymore. I count in feels, I count in vibes. So like, the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy still feels new to me. It could be like five years old, and it probably is as far as I know. Nah, I, no, I think it was post covid so like, yeah. There we go. Got the star. Like, it was clear. It was 100% clear. You could see it a mile away when you go through the game and you look at some of the textures. It was AI upscaled. Some of the text didn't even make sense. And it was like... My only answer is they're seeing how much bullshit they can get away with while still making it seem like they actually give a shit. That's my own, That's the only answer I got. Nice room. I'm assuming this is Peach's actual room. Jeez, she don't even have a TV in here. I wonder if Peach is a uh, question mark, question mark, question marks here somewhere. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up or don't. Anyway, that's her business. She's allowed to do whatever she wants. Right. Oh, well, oh yeah. Aesthetic. Wait a minute. This is just... This is just Delta Room! I need to finish the... Demo. I, I, I do actually really like Undertale. And from... Uh... How much of Deltarune I actually played, I like it too. It's clear a lot of time, effort, and passion were put into both of these games, and, you know, a lot of people, my brother, my middle brother was telling me about how he, like, actively avoids games because of, like, they have annoying fan bases, and I'm like, I get that. But, uh, I uh, operate, personally, under, you know, the mindset that if a game somehow managed to get themselves a stupidly annoying, over-saturated, uh, fan base, it did something right. It obviously did something right. I got into Undertale, like, before, like, I even knew there was a fan base. I just, like, oh, yeah, I've heard of this game, let's try it. And then I played through it, loved it. It was the greatest game in the world. Once. 
What I mean by that is after the shock value of the whole game is said and done, it's just it's a pretty good game. I like how, you know, it took like the idea of like an RPG UI. Oh! Woo! Woo! I seriously thought I was dead there for a second, but I saved myself with a kick. I promise to you that I am not gonna be one of those YouTubers who, like, overreact. For the sake of, like, viewer retention or whatever. So whenever... Whenever you hear me make a noise like that or whatever, just rest assured that it's real. And if I'm playing, like, a scary game, I'm not just gonna pretend like I'm scared. For the sake of, like, the views, the viewer retention or whatever. Like, a scary game has to do a lot in order to actually scare me. Because so I think it's more of like a psychological thing. Like, you cannot spook me with jump scares and stuff. You can maybe get me with a jump scare for like, you know, the quick adrenaline rush or whatever, but 90% of the time I laugh. Okay. Okay, this is not Delta Room music. This is... I don't know. But I've heard it from somewhere. trying to remember where. Wiggler? Okay. No, it's Toby Fox's forest. No, you're a Wiggler, and I'm Mario, and I must fuck up your day because I'm a piece of shit. Wait, Mario... Mario just does that. You know, in, in the original Mario 64, he just does that. This is Wiggler's Rage! Oh, okay, okay, I'm no match for you. Even my fire buddies could not lay a hand on you. Oh, yes, they did. Here, take this star, it'll transform it into a key that'll let you into the castle's basement. Mario, you could have just asked nicely. But he does it. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Yeah, it's alright. It is okay. It'll take a lot more than that for me to get mad. Oh. It'll take much more than that for me to get mad. We'll just do it again, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, I'm sucking. Help! Help! Go it! I was right on my ass! Oh, there we go. Now, how? How? Fuck you. How do I not get hit doing that? That's the question. not get hit hitting him. There's gotta be a way. This ROM hack is way too well made for it to just be like that.
Alright. I, I just gotta aim more for the head. Instead of that! Run! Alright, uh, yep, yeah, up. Uh, avoid fire! Get the star! And we're good! Yay! Alright, guess we can check out the basement now. Oh, this one is so pretty. Toad bathrooms. This implies a lot of things I do not want to think about. Anyway, hey, this ain't no basement. If it says L is real on here, I'm gonna shit. No, no, they got rid of the plaque. Man, but how else are you gonna go into the forest without booze, huh? It's more fun when you're when you're hammered. I'm funny, laugh, damn it. <laughs> hmm. So I know that there are red coins out in the courtyard and in this area too. So I'm guessing, in order to get them all, I'm gonna have to, like, open something. It does make sense, though, that the, uh... The ghosts, the booze, would be, like... Out here. Ah, dang, this camera! You just can't win! You just can't win for losing in this shit. Okay, this is the basement. I should have known better. Whee! Hee! Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay. I mean, I know, but still, I just wanted to see if I could. Staff only. Now, who the fuck else but Super Fucking Mario himself would have authorization to such a place? Hi, Todd. The castle is a uh, lava heated, I see. Pretty clever. Yeah, I saw him through the wall. Alright, we got the uh we got the desert level up there. Oh, th this is this is just lovely. I love it. Alright. Lethal Lava Land. Boil the big boy- The bullies. The bullies. I'm getting flashbacks to high school. Fuck you, Jim. Fuck you for making fun of me. Ah! It's at it again, I see. Always making me fall in the lava. Fuck you. There. Show him. I don't have problems. What are you talking about? I don't have problems. You have problems. That don't look safe. Steve! Asshole, you always took my pencils and 
cool supplies. Fuck you. Kill the eyeball. I don't have deeply repressed rage. What do you mean? <gasps> Cody, you bastard! You told me Susan liked me and she didn't and she made fun of me and it's all your fault! <gasps> Carl! Asshole. Ay, yay, yay, yay. Whoa. No, 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 no. But, but no, though, no. No. Alright, no more bullet jokes. At least not till I get to the big one. It's really it. What? They really did, like, take these levels and make them, like, way brand new, but at the same time, like, make them different, more expansive, more detailed, more dense, more dense with detail. No, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. No, 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 no. We're gonna keep our cool. We're gonna collect these coins so that we don't die. And then we're gonna jump up here. That's not where the big bully is. Let's. Uh, Geronimo! Okay. Like I said, you don't have to do them in a specific order. So... <sighs> Alright, Timothy. Let's go. Freaking gave me a wedgie in front of all, all the pretty ladies. And then he stole my lunch money. And you watched. You watched. You were an accomplice, Thomas. And you didn't say anything about it either. You said you were my friend, but when the cool kids started picking on me, you started picking on me too. Some friend you were. And you... I just plain don't like your face. You see what happened? When you bully someone, and they become a bully also. There's a moral to this story. The moral is, we're all shitty people, deep down inside. Obviously, I'm kidding. Do not, do not take that seriously. Don't be a shitty person. Do not. Wait, just don't be an asshole. That's the moral of the story. The world needs less assholes. There we go. I want to play for a little bit more. Check out some of the some more levels. Oh, I'm surprised we don't have to deal with any like sand physics there. In the talents of the big bird. I read that for a second. It's the big bread. Brains are weird. Getting Banjo Kazooie vibes. Oh, 
There's the bird. Let's see if I can get up there and flip that bird. You just gotta get in the middle -y part. Now what? Oh, that's for like stand on the four pillars. I see. This is bird. Oh, huh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Well, at least it's not instant death. But you know, wrong hack. You gonna come over here or what? Maybe you want me to come over there. Okay, we got Sonic bounce pads. We got Sonic springs now. Cool. Hmm. You gonna come over here or what? Hmm. That was too risky. <sighs> I was so close. That was close. I highly doubt this is actually the way you're supposed to do it. But I did it anyway. <laughs> oh, skills! Skill gamer! It's my chair making noise, by the way. Oh, we are at 13 now. Hmm. Any other levels I want to try? Before I end it here. The cave. Of the hazy maze variety. Swimming beast in the cave. It takes a lot these days to impress me. The amount of creativity that they put into this ROM hack and made it like nice and that star is still up here.
Me. Ah, excuse me again. Does not seem like it. Of course it wouldn't be that obvious. Wait. What's in here? Oh, a platforming challenge. That's what's in here. Too much! Oh. enjoyed this video I want to keep making more stuff like this I want to keep I want to keep doing more stuff like this I want to keep expanding and improving my channel and you know like I said like my previous video it got probably the most criticism out of anything I've ever gotten on YouTube so far and you know what that's okay I'm okay with that you know you can't can't be perfect every time but you know I'm willing to try harder and improve and gonna do some light editing on this one but other than that like I don't really consider myself someone who wants to do too much editing in a video I want to do like video essays at some point but uh Man, I don't have the patience for that kind of thing. Not really. Writing a script, editing it all. Maybe. 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 But for now, I'm just going to keep doing this. But I'm going to do a little experimenting here and there. But uh, other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of uh, Decades Later, or if you have a... Uh, ROM hack request or any request for that matter just you know put it down in the comments I'll take a look but anyway uh, anyway uh, thanks for watching seriously thank you bye bye